Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about getter and setter in Dart. Getter is used to get the value of properties, whereas setter is used to set the value of properties. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo of getter and setter. Okay. Here you can see getter and setter provide explicit read and write access to an object properties. In that get and set keyword are used to create getter and setter. Okay. Getter read the value and act as accessor. Getter is also called accessor and uh, setter is also uh, called mutator. Okay. Here you can see the use of getter and setter. It is used to validate the data before reading or writing. I will show you example after some time. Restrict the read and write access to the properties. Okay, you can restrict the read and write access to the properties and making the properties read only or write only. You can make property read only or write only with the help of getter and setter. Okay, another one is perform some action before reading or writing the properties. Okay, you can perform some action before reading or writing the properties. Okay, now let's do one example. Okay, here you can see here is one class student with private properties, first name, last name and age. Here is getter full name, which is responsible to get the full name of a person. And here is getter is which is responsible to get the is and here is setter uh, first name last name and is which are responsible to set the first name last name and in is if the value of age is less than zero then we are throwing exception that is is can be less than zero otherwise this is will be the value of is okay now let's do this program in visual studio code first of all i will create one class that is person okay class person let me write properties okay properties are string underscore first name okay i need to write question mark here okay okay and then string last name okay now this is fine okay now let me create getter which is responsible to get the full name of a person okay you can also create constructor person okay we will not create constructor here okay just getter and setter okay i'll say a string get full name and this is this dot underscore first name plus I'll write one space and I'll say this dot underscore last name okay here are some problem let's see the problem okay i need to write exclamation here and exclamation here okay okay this is uh basically we are creating getter full name which is responsible to get the full name you can also uh, write uh, this one okay just write double quotes and write uh, dollar and here you can write this dot first name and give one space here and here you can write this dot last name okay this dot dollar this dot last name and you can remove all this okay now this is fine this full name is responsible to get the full name of a person okay now let's create i will also write is integer is underscore is i will make it private okay and now 
let me set first name okay set i'll say first name let me create a setter here you can see you need to write set and uh, this first name without underscore okay set first name and i will say string f name and in the single arrow function i will say this dot underscore first name equals to f name okay this is fine and we need to also create set our last name and i'll say l name this dot underscore last name equal to l name okay this is also fine and i will also create one setter as uh, is is and i will i'll i will pass integer is and this dot underscore is equals to is okay okay this dot underscore is equal to is okay now this is also fine okay now in the main method let me create object of person okay person p is equal to person okay i will say p dot first name equal to rita p dot last name equal to sarma okay and this is because of the setter okay and now let me write let me print full name okay or p dot a is equal to 25 and let me print full name print p dot full name okay and i will also print print p dot is okay there is some problem okay let's read this okay the getter is is not defined okay we don't have a uh, is getter okay we also need to create a getter for is okay i'll say is string integer get is that is this dot underscore is okay okay now this is fine okay now let me run this program that getter setter dot that okay here you can see rita rita okay okay p dot full name we need to write here last name okay let me run the program again and here you can see rita sarma got printed and age is 25 got printed in this way you can uh, work with getter and setter okay here you cannot read the value of first name okay here you can see you cannot read the value of this first name let me try this one if i print p dot first name first name then this is not possible here you can see the getter first name is not defined okay you need to define a getter for it by using getter or setter you can control the read and write functionality for the properties okay in this way you can use getter and setter now let me also share you one another example that is bank account okay now let me create bank account dot dot file and i will create a class called bank account okay in class bank account let me create a private double balance okay i will declare this balance is zero okay let me create getter balance which return the value of 
underscore balance okay you can also write this dot underscore balance <clears throat> okay now let me create one method this is not setter this is method where deposit okay and here is balance okay we need to pass balance amount okay if amount is greater than zero then i will say underscore balance is equal to underscore balance plus amount okay else i will throw exception exception i will say balance must be more than zero okay okay i'll also create one method void withdraw okay withdraw i'll say double amount or amt okay if amount is less than or equal to balance then withdraw is possible okay i'll say balance equal to balance equal to underscore balance minus amount okay okay you can also write bool here and i'll say return true return true in the else i'll say return false okay okay now let me create a main method here void main okay in the main method let me create object of bank account bank account i'll say zone account is equal to bank account and zone account let me deposit the amount okay zone account dot deposit i will deposit 250 okay and let me print after deposit deposit amount amount is dollar zone account dot balance okay okay let me run the program here you can see i am depositing 250 okay that bank account dot that okay error while reading bank account dot that okay bank account dot that that bank account dot that i hope this is correct here you can see after deposit the amount is 250 and now let's withdraw some money okay zone account dot withdraw i withdraw 50 and let me print after withdraw amount is amount is okay now let me run the program here you can see after withdraw amount is 200 okay and if i try to write 260 then here you can see after withdraw amount 250 but the amount is not got minus okay we need to also throw the exception let me throw the exception throw exception error while balance 
is not sufficient okay okay just throw the exception okay if i run this program here you can see balance balance is not sufficient got printed in this way you can work with getter and setter i hope you understood about getter and setter very very clearly and if you have any question regarding getter and setter then comment down below i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video